Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? Welcome back to this week's market analysis, right? But first thing first, I want to give a shout out to Michael, right? Because here is what happened. On Saturday morning, right, Michael dropped me an email and, you know, saying, Hey, Rainer, are you aware that, you know, your trading guides are being sold on eBay? And the funny thing is that I'm not the seller, right? So someone apparently, you know, took my trading guides and is currently selling it on eBay for two US dollar. How insulting. All right. So anyway, I have a informed eBay about it. Hopefully they, they take down the listing, right? And life can go on, right? So anyway, just want to say thank you, Michael, for informing me. All right. So anyway, back to this week's market analysis. Uh, I will be focusing on trend following, right? Basically sharing with you a couple of trades that I took from a trend following perspective, right? How I enter, how I manage and how I exit those uh, trades. I mean, I haven't, I have not exit them yet, but how I'm looking to exit or rather to trail my stops on those trades. So all this and more in today's video, I'll see you there. Alrighty, let's kick things off, right? So in this week's market analysis, we would, you know, have a focus more towards trend following. Right, as you know, right, I'm both a swing and position trader. So, you know, trying to mix both together in one video, right, we would confuse most traders. So I try to separate both methodologies, right, in usually into separate video. So for today's weekly market analysis, we will have more focus on the trend following side of things. So for those of you who are unaware, trend following is basically a methodology, right, that seeks to capture trend across a wide variety of markets. It is used by some of, some of the biggest hedge funds in the world, like, you know, Dune Capital, Mulvaney, Winton, etc. Market wizards like, you know, Jesse Livermore, the Turtle Traders, uh, Larry Light, right? Who else can I think of? Ed Sakoda, they are all trend followers as well. So trend following is, you know, no doubt, right, uh, a methodology that clearly has an edge in the markets. So by capturing trends, right? So for example, if this is an uptrend, right? Then in reverse, as a trend follower, you look to enter somewhere, you know, this portion over here and ride it up all the way here when the trend starts to show signs of reversal. So from, from basically from here to here, you're looking to capture the meat of the move, right? This is what trend followers do. So anyway, I, I don't have, you know, so much time to go through with you, all the intricacies, all the, you know, the things to take note of. If you're interested, right, just head down to my website here, tradingwithrainer.com. I'll put a link below. Uh, scroll down and click this blue button, right? Uh, download the ultimate trend following guide. Basically, I'll share with you all the principles, right? Even a strategy on how to actually you know write trends in the market, right? So this is a very comprehensive guide. No half, no hype, no fluff. Go and download this and you would have a crystal clear idea on what trend following is about. So just click this button, enter your email address so I can send the guide to your email, okay? So moving on, back to this week's uh, chart, right? I just wanna share with you a few things. So the first thing first, right, is if you recall last week I mentioned about Euro Dollar. In fact, I talked about this uh, uh, a few times already, right? I said the first time to trade this is when you can trade along on the breakout of this highs, okay? The second time I mentioned was last week's video. I said that, you know, you could go down to the one hour time frame and look for a possible trading setup over here. Or alternatively, if you don't want to trade off the one hour time frame, you could look to get long when the market closes at this high over here, All right? So these are a few trading entry setups that I shared. Right, and the one that I took actually was when the market actually, you know, break and close above this uh, this high over here. Okay, not exactly the best or the most favorable location, but this was where I entered my trade. My stop loss is 180R below this low, which is somewhere here. Okay, so this was my trade and my, my trading setup. So if you think about this, right, whether you enter your trade here, 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 or here, it kind of doesn't really matter because if you were to capture this move, right, this huge momentum upwards, the only way to do so is to trail your stop loss, right? If you're a trader who, let's say, for example, he, you know, uh, saw that this market had this swing high over here and he took profits at this high, then boom, he's out of the trade. He's exited the trade. There is no way he can ride a trend because, you know, he took his profits at this high over here. Now, I'm not saying that this is wrong, right? Because for a swing trader, this is largely what they would do. But for a trend follower, for someone who is interested to write trends in the market, then you cannot, you absolutely cannot exit your trades at this prior high. Because, you know, there is nothing left on the table. 
Okay, so this is for Euro dollar, right? I believe uh, I spoke about this, you know, quite extensively. Hey, another market that I want to share, right? This time around, I'll just, you know, walk you through really step by step, right? It's a Euro New Zealand trade. It's another trade that I took. Okay. So you can see, right, that there is really nothing fancy about, you know, a trend followers trading setup. In fact, a lot of them, right, are just simply trading breakout, breakouts of 50-day highs, 100-day highs. A lot of time, right, the setup is so simple that most retail traders think that, you know, it cannot work. And the reason why it cannot work is because they usually jump from system to system too quickly. They don't trade enough markets. They don't have proper risk management or they are not, you know, trying to trail your, their stop loss. So let me explain to you what is this setup all about. And you realize it's, it's nothing complicating, right? So you can see over here, this market is, uh, when it broke above this area of resistance, right? I had a uh, bullish bias. And in fact, if you pull out the 200 MA, the price is above it. Then it came back and retest this. What's this level? Previous resistance, turn support. Correct? And after which, right, uh, he had another candle of uh, more of like, you know, a bearish doji looking candle where, you know, price rejected higher prices. But this candle over here is what interested, kept me interested, right? Because you can see that the price actually retested the lows, retested, retested this lows and this lows, and then closed bullishly higher. So this to me is a form of a price rejection, a bullish price rejection that, you know, price is unable to, you know, trade lower at this point in time. I have no idea, you know, you know how far it would go. So I basically went long. Okay, so went long. Let's change this to green. Okay, so green is my entry. Okay. Can see, right? Then now, the next question is, where do I put my stop loss? So I've mentioned many times that I always set my stop loss, right? 180R below the swing low. So let's take let's take this low, right? So what? find out what is this value and minus 180R from it. So first and foremost, get out your ATR indicator, right? I usually use a 20 period, right? Then this the ATR at this point in time, right, is about 120 pips, right? Just keep it simple. Just round it up to 120 pips. So find out what is this low over here and minus it by 120 pips. So I'll get out my calculator here and work through the math with you. So the low is currently 1.5188, uh, okay? So you're on a minus 120 Pips. How do you do that? It's quite simple. Alright. You get Whoa. You can use the calculator. Okay, let's let's uh let's work this out. One point Okay, the low is 1.5189. Okay, 1.5189. If you can't see it, right? Uh I know this is really trying to dumb this thing down, right? But basically, look at here. Okay, I can't. <laughs> this portion over here, look at here later as your my cursor move at the candle. It will show you all the high lows close value, right? So you can see. Okay, and there you find it. Okay. So it, minus 120 pip, it gives you 1.5069. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll pull out another line, right? And change this to red. 1.5069 okay so from here my entry and here this red line is my stop loss about 230 pips right at this point in time it may look really really large right but this can be this is relative right because if you understand what is the volatility volatility like in the big picture especially if volatility is low right and if volatility does expand right you this portion over here may seem like you know a very uh, small range so all this is pretty much relative so anyway that is my entry this is my stop loss. So you can see what happened, right? The market <laughs> clearly went against me. And I'll be honest with you, right? At this point in time, I'm thinking I'm going to get stopped out, right? In fact, uh, uh, I, I've told this to the TFMP members, right? I, I, I'm i most probably going to get stopped out, right? You look at the price section at this, right? You know, uh, 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 lower highs coming in into support. But the reason why I didn't exit my trade is because, right, I have a plan and I follow it. Right, previously when I tried to, you know, prematurely exit my trades and then the trade, you know, reverse and go back in my favor and become a massive trend, it hurts me a lot. It hurts me even more than exiting my trade earlier to prevent that, you know, full one hour loss. So I, from then on, I've decided, you know, I have a plan, I execute it, and I don't micromanage my trades. So my stop loss is here. I just let it be, right? You, I will not ever, you know, exit prematurely no matter how ugly the price action look, Okay. So you can see that after which, right, the thing gap up, right, this was the Eurozone news. The French election, I think, uh, Macron, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly, but basically he won the, the, the first round, 
right? Then after which it just basically went up higher, right? This was the retracement, and then continue trading higher. So now, you know, some of you may be wondering, Rainer, how are you trailing your stop loss? So let me, you know, share this as well, okay? So again, I use the ATR indicator, and you can see at this point in time, right, your ATR has basically right, expanded, okay? So what, how I trail my stop loss is, again, I use three times the average true range, but again, that is not the only way, right? As you read the trend following guide, which I, I shared with you, to go and download, right, you realize that there are, you know, different ways to trail your stop loss. So let's say, for example, right, currently the ATR is uh, 100, let's make it 160 pips. So 3 ATR of 160 is 480, simple math. So what I'll do is I'll take the high of over here and minus off 480 pips, okay? So once you do that, right, you can just do what I did earlier and just, right, this time around, I'll just trail my stop loss, right, and this, I'll change the color to dark golden rock. So from this high, minus of 480 pips, which will be somewhere uh, close to this black line over here, somewhere here, right? So from this high to this dark golden rod over here is basically 480 pips. So this is the buffer I'm giving this trade to run as to run as a trend, all right? If it closes below this uh, brown line, I'm out of the trade. So this is how I'm trailing my stop loss. As I've said, this is not the only way, right? I, I'm, there are traders who uses the 20 period moving average, right? Uh, you can see over here, if it closes below it, they would exit their trade. Some could use the 50 period moving average. That is fine as well. So as you can see, the, the, the possibilities are, you know, endless, right? It really depends on, you know, uh, your personality or, or, or what type of trends you're trying to capture. For me, I find that using the ATR to trail my stop loss is pretty simple and effective. And, you know, there's really no need to complicate things any further. Besides, right, trend following, the secret to it is, isn't in trading one particular market, but trading a variety of markets, right, and see, you know, which markets evolve into a full-blown trend. Okay, so this is the Euro, Euro New Zealand trade I'm in, right, and as, and as I've mentioned earlier, previously the range over here looks very large, but as the market range has expanded, right, you see that it looks pretty small over here now, looking on hindsight. Okay, so this is, a, I believe, a uh, this is uh, gives you gives you a good idea on how you know I traded this particular market. Again, nothing fanciful. <laughs> the concepts I've been you know teaching has been you know talking about the same thing over and over again for 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 as long as if you've been following me. So really, yeah, the concepts are you know just you know simple, but it's the matter of execution that you know kind of like separate traders who win in the long term, and traders who you know just give up after a while. Okay, so before I end this off, right, let me share with you a couple of trading setups I'm looking at. Uh, dollar sync is one that and I'm looking right you can see that this market uh, not looking pretty it's below the 200 period moving average you can see that you know a series of you know lower lows and lower highs pointing towards the downside and it broke this key level over here the 139.25 level so my guess is that it could possibly retest back this level and then continue trading lower right so go down to the four hour time frame you can see that the price action is much clearer so if the market can come up here right maybe you know form some bearish uh, uh, pin bar or engulfing pattern as an entry trigger you could you know expect lower prices from here okay another market that i want to share is the pound new zealand all right so this is a market that you can see this entering a squeeze in fact if you look at it it's a somewhat of an ascending triangle you can't really see this on this time frame but if you go down to the four hour time frame it's clearer not the most pretty ascending triangle but it's there right you see a higher lows coming into resistance this is uh, again right uh, a sign of strength by the bulls couple of ways you can trade it if it comes down lower triggering the lows and then close higher that is a possible entry setup another way is you just simply trade a break above this highs right so these are a couple of ways that you can trade the pound new zealand another market that is worth watching right because uh it's a fact of the market that you know the the longer it range or the harder it goes into a squeeze right the greater the likelihood that you will break after this uh this 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 event happens okay so yeah, that's all I have for you in this week's market analysis. I hope the, the breakdown of my trend following trade kind of like give you uh, uh, an overview of, you know, of what I do. And please, please, right, bear this in mind. Trend following, right, you cannot be applying it across, you know, a few markets. You cannot be, you know, trying to take your profits consistently, right? And you cannot be, you know, trading too large on each trade. These are a few of the cardinal rules of trend following. Really, if you want more, go and download the trend following guide. Everything is explained clearly step by step. So just to recap what we covered today, basically the Euro dollar and Euro New Zealand, right? The couple of trades that I took, right? Explaining you know, how I, I, I execute those trades. Number two, we, I just mentioned to you about the dollar sing, right? A potential setup that is occurring. 
And lastly, right, the Pound New Zealand, right, another potential setup that, you know, is worth looking at, right? So, yeah, that's all I have for you in this week's market analysis. I hope you've enjoyed this video, right? If you do, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and the like button. With that, I wish you good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.